Hi guys. Hello, Lola, Warren, Eloise, Claire, Cora, Amelia, and anyone else who might be watching. I am so happy that you are deciding to spend a few minutes with us today. Today we are going to revisit our friend Hal the Hedgehog. Do you remember him? He's right here. And how, do you remember how he rolled up into that ball when he was nervous? We are going to read his story together again right now. We are going to jump right in. One morning, Hal came out of his hedgehog hole and stretched his arms as far as they could reach into the air. What a beautiful day, he thought. I wonder what my friends are doing. He went to look for them. Hal came up to the top of the hill and saw Ava, Rufus, Joe, and Yuri. Good morning, Hal, Ava called. I was just telling the others about my idea for something fun to do. Oh, it's the best, most wonderful idea ever. Ava is so excited. What is it, Ava? Hal asked. A picnic? Hide and seek? Skipping rocks in the stream? Even better, Ava said. We are going to have a race from here to the tree on the other side of the hill. Hal's stomach felt like it had dropped to his toes. This was not good news. My legs are so short, Hal thought. I can't go as fast as the others. I'll lose. Everyone will laugh at me. Hal didn't want to be alone. He wanted to spend time with his friends and that meant running in the race. What do you say, Hal? Ava asked. Will you race with us? Um, okay, Hal said. I guess. Poor Hal, he's so nervous. Yuri flew away with a ribbon for the finish line in her beak. Ava, Hal, Joe, and Rufus lined up for the race. Okay, Ava said. On your marks, get set, go! Ava, Joe, and Rufus burst forward. Ava and Joe bounded up the hill. Rufus's legs moved so quickly they turned into a blur. Hal ran as quickly as he could, but his legs couldn't carry him fast enough. By the time he was halfway up the hill, his friends were already on the other side. Oh no, Hal thought. This is exactly what I was afraid would happen. Hal stopped and thought about what to do. Maybe I can run just a little bit faster. I'll still lose. But maybe, if I don't lose so badly, my friends won't laugh at me. Hal pushed himself as fast as his legs would carry him. He ran faster than he ever had before, faster than he ever thought he could. Then he ran a little bit faster than that. Finally, he got to the top of the hill only to find that Ava, Joe, and Rufus were almost at the finish line. Hal wanted to disappear. He wanted to hide. So he did what he always did when he was feeling embarrassed. He curled up into a little ball. As he tucked himself up tight, he said a prayer to make him feel better. Dear God, I'm not good at doing some things. Please help me be proud of the things I am good at. Amen. While his eyes were still closed, 
Hal felt himself begin to roll down the hill faster and faster. Hal rolled so fast he couldn't see anything, but he heard Yuri's voice, clear and loud. Hal, Hal is so fast. Go, Hal, go! Hal rolled to the bottom of the hill. When he came to a stop, he uncurled and shook his head, feeling dizzy. His friends all ran toward him. Hal, Ava yelled, you were so fast. What happened? Hal asked. You came in second, Ava said. I was first, but Joe and Rufus were slowing down because they were tired and you rolled right past them. Hal could hardly believe it. He didn't embarrass himself. He did his best and it was enough. Look how happy everyone is. Even Joe and Rufus, who didn't get first or second place. I didn't know you could do that, Hal, Ava said. Hal stood up straight and tall, as tall as his little legs could make him. I might not be very good at running, but I am great at rolling. Thank you for listening with me. I do appreciate it. I want to talk about how felt when he saw his friends, Rufus and Ava running, when he saw Joe running, and he saw them run, and he felt sad and a little insecure. Why do you think he felt like that? Why do you think he was scared that they would laugh at him? Well, because Hal had a hard time running. His body is round and his legs are short. He's a hedgehog. He's not built to run like Rufus the dog is. But guess what? God loves you just the way we are. God still loves Hal, even though he had a hard time running. God's love is completely unconditional. Even if you don't win a race on the playground, or one of your friends is a better singer or drawer than you, that does not change how much God, your parents, your church, or your friends love you. Did you see in the story how all the friends were so happy and excited at the end of the race, no matter what place any of them got? They just had so much fun together that they didn't really care how good of a runner each one was. They were there to be together. Last week, we talked about how everyone has these incredible, unique gifts. God was really cool when he gave us those gifts and made us all so different. However, you can't be good at everything. Sometimes we're bad at things. One thing that I'm bad at is singing. You do not want to even hear me try. I would show you right now, but I'm scared that your ears would ring and hurt and maybe your computer screen would even crack. But that's okay. Just because I'm bad at singing doesn't mean that I'm loved any less by God, my parents, or my friends. It's okay to be bad at something. Or sometimes our bodies and our brains can keep us from doing things that other people might do easily. Some people have brains that work and think in different ways that make things like reading or paying attention in school hard, harder than it is for other kids. That does not mean there's something wrong with their brain or that they are any less smart, that they're stupid. They are still so smart and loved by God. Some people have diseases that make their bodies hurt or injuries that change the way their bodies can move. If someone doesn't have a leg or their leg doesn't move the way yours or mine does, it doesn't mean that person is weak. They are strong, they are still so strong in different ways and they are still loved by God. Sometimes we feel like we are first place finishers And sometimes we feel like we can't even finish the race that we're running. But no matter where you are or how you feel like you're doing, know that you are loved no matter what. It's okay to not be the best. Your your best effort is good enough. So 
to say goodbye, I think we should do Hal's prayer together to think about the things we are good at, be proud of them, and be okay with the things that we're bad at. So if you can make your prayer hands with me and you can listen along, you can repeat after me, close your eyes, whatever it takes for you to listen, that's okay. Dear God, I'm not good at doing some things. Please help me be proud of the things I am good at. Amen. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today, for listening to the story and what I have to say. And I hope that the beginning of your school years, no matter what they look like, are doing well and that we see each other again soon. Bye!